all right guys welcome back to my channel another day another hack in the market so but first let's take a look at what's happening in the crypto space oh sorry in the crypto market so bitcoin is still well over twenty thousand dollars and this is a good sign um that we actually bottomed at eighteen thousand dollars plus right and several people several companies several investors around the world bought the dip and several average people and poor people managed to buy bitcoin about around forty thousand dollars because i know someone who bought at forty thousand dollars and sold at twenty five thousand dollars not because you know he wanted to sell at twenty five thousand dollars but it was because you know the amount that this guy invested was an amount that he wasn't willing to lose was an amount that he was supposed to use for something else i always tell people if you are going to put money in crypto right you should have a strategy um you should have a strategy and a strategy that should work right and just just recently i developed even more strategy where i don't put i don't put all my money in one exchange yes you heard me right um within the last nine months plus right i've been battling with i'm going to call the name of the platform binance i'm battling with binance because i had lots and lots of money um locked up in binance for a very long time right in several accounts and of course some of those accounts were unlocked after a while but you know as the market was going down so was the value of the account going down also um yeah so you can have you should have several strategies that works and how to mit mitigate your risks in the market so um spread your funds I, in fact if there was a way to have a decentralized trading platform that would have been um the best but um no decentralized trading platform can actually beat decentralized ones we have right now hence we have to keep using them and of course you know you have to use them with with a bit of sense because you know anything can happen see what happened to matt gox um, um several years ago uh just in case you're not aware matt gox was an exchange that uh let me see if i can bring it up yeah so this is a mark marked mouth Co at mount cox news and as as at that time the exchange was controlling well over 70 percent of all bitcoin transactions that is how big it was and even though for the issue right uh the the platform had several years ago um this would have been the binance of our time right but because they had an issue um yep they're still having you know to sort out that issue all right so a lot of people had lost their, their their bitcoin through that platform so bitcoin is still well over twenty thousand dollars and if you're going to buy bitcoin right if you're going to buy a cryptocurrency have a strategy that works and of course we can help you with that strategy if you contact us moving on ethereum is all well over a thousand dollars bitcoin obviously is going to get to a um, hundred thousand dollars Ethereum is going to hit um, $10,000 and Binance Coin is going to hit $2,000. But anyway, that happens, you have to keep oh, buying the dip. So back to, this, back to this news, NFT platform Omni hit by re-entry exploits lost $1.4 million. So I want to share this. I actually didn't see this news very early, but, but someone shared the article with me and I was like, and the guy was like, with all the stuff happening in, in, in cryptocurrency and blockchain with what happened to Luna and the rest, do you think I should come in? Do you think I should put my money into, into crypto, crypto space? And I was like, yes, you, you put your money into cryptocurrency and blockchain when things are still rough. Right, so the mistakes a lot of people make is they want to come in when things are okay. That is not when to come in. You don't come in when, you know, there's full regulation. You don't come in when... There are apps that have the best security. Well, it's already too late by then. You come in now when the streets are still rough. You come in now where um, the, the platforms that have the best solutions are looking for capital. And of course, you don't pull all your capital into what platform, right? You spread it. Right, so we're still in the early stage of cryptocurrencies. 
and blockchain. So moving on to Twitter. So Twitter um, lawyers up to force through uh, Mox deal. Will it work? So um, in case you're not aware of this news, right? So Elon Musk has been trying to buy Bit um, Bitcoin, Twitter. And while this why this news is uh, important to crypto space and blockchain space is because these two platforms right now are somehow pro crypto, right? And somehow they support uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain. And if this acquisition goes through, right, every holder of Dogecoin might become a million, might, 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 don't, don't take what I'm saying as a, as a financial advice, might become a, uh, a millionaire in the future, in the future, right? And um, so Elon Musk actually had to start turning down the deal because he, he, he wanted a full audit of, of the platform to, to understand how many unique users the platform has and how many users have bought, but Twitter refused to make um those records available and of course now that they're trying to sue elon Musk, those records will have to come through you know by the judge when 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 it is requested for so moving on to as the infinity axs a lot of people including myself made a couple of change from this uh token right so months back but they had an issue and from what uh, I, I read in the article, right, they are recovering from the issue they had and uh, oh, where's the quote, right, there's, there's a quote, um, yeah, uh, interesting in Axie Infinity appears, interest rather in Axie Infinity appears to be picking up again following the launch of its new NFT land staking future, right, so they, they, they had an issue and they've been building, if you have an issue as a platform, right, so the only thing you can do to come back to the market is by building moving on a brief history of bitcoin crashes and bear markets now i'm not going to read i'm not going to read through this right and um i'll just show you some important key points then explain one or two things to you so let me start from this uh, i wasn't available at this time right so when this was 2011 i was not available i was not i would have i was not in the crypto space then but so bitcoin fell you know to 0 0.01 what is the price today the price bitcoin is well over twenty thousand dollars today but there was a time when people were shouting because it fell to 0 0.01 dollar per bitcoin that means let me let me do a quick calculation <laughs> as you mean he invested just hundred dollar hundred dollars divided by 0 0.01 that would have given well over ten thousand bitcoin which would have been what um Seven words over 200 million dollars today, and guess what? When it crashed, then it was a major news, people still complained. And you know, in 2015, right? This should be 2015. No, 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 this period here was when I joined, I joined cryptocurrency around 2016, year about right. And I think I'll stop there, right? And then just see what I want to say. Um, market will always crash, right? But the truth is that after every crash, let, let, let me, let's, let's go to, um, so this is Bitcoin chart and, and let's, let's just take a look at something, right? So Bitcoin moved from $4,000, about 3,700. Okay. Let me, let's start from here for about $2,800 to what? To almost $20,000. And crashed down to four thousand uh, dollars let's say the, the lowest point here is about three thousand two hundred dollars this was when this was 2017 guess what happened guess what happened a few years later few years later bitcoin went as high as sixty eight thousand dollars which is which is about three hundred percent from its former peak over the last couple ever since bitcoin came out he's been having several crashes and the truth is after every crash comes a major peak so keep buying the, the dip because when it recovers the peak the top price is going to be higher way higher than the last one